gonna show you how. Tell me, do you like this game? Let's pretend it's true. It's me and you and all our friends, like the Muska Hounds. Imagine if one day you find yourself in danger. Today's adventure begins after numerous delays, a most prominent foreign dignitary is finally arriving in Paris at the Palace of Versailles. King Louis and the Muscahounds have been delayed with a confidential matter of state and are scheduled to arrive subsequently and have sent the Duke of Bavaria on ahead with instructions to introduce himself to the Queen and make himself just as comfortable as possible. How lovely to see you, Your Highness. My name is Otto, and if I may be so bold, would you allow me to call you Anne? Please, go ahead, sir, and while you're at it, do make yourself right at home. When the King is not here, the duties of protocol fall upon the Queen, and it is a distinct honor to be at your service. Hmm. Ah, uh, you have no idea how much that pleases me, Anne. On behalf of the people of Bavaria, I offer you my hand in peace. Thank you, Otto, and although the King is not at home, you are still in good hands, as Cardinal Richelieu here shall see to your needs. Pleased to meet you, Your Grace. Welcome. Follow me if you would be so kind. I would be delighted, Your Eminence. Meanwhile, their duties now completed, our heroes had headed back in the direction of Paris, and they were looking forward to being home once again. Whoa! Do you see that, Your Majesty? That signpost is sure a sight for sore eyes, isn't it, Dog Tanya? Well, sir, what do you know? Looks like we're right on schedule. We should be home in no time. By now, Dog Tanya, the Duke should have gotten to the palace. And I also think that by now he will have greeted the Queen and disclosed our intentions. Yes, you're right. Yet the Cardinal's still in the dark as to why you suddenly just disappeared. Yeah, that old Cardinal's running around in circles. He doesn't know what's going on. And that's just how we like it. But thwarting Cardinal Richelieu does not rank first in importance. The Duke does, and at last he is safe mm, and sound. Mm. Let's start the last leg of our journey. Back at the palace, the Duke had found an opportunity to pass along a secret message from the King. Oh, I see. It says that Lewis is needed elsewhere. He is seen to a task. And not to worry, as he shall return and join us just as soon as he can. <laughs> but Otto, are you certain that His Majesty's all right? Yes, indeedy. King Louis is not in any danger. It's all gone according to plan, and you should know that D'Artagnan and his guards are along as a royal escort. So you should take heart. Your husband is in good hands. Well, I thank you. Your reassurance lessens the anxiety, yet I shall rest only when the king has returned. Widomer, I want an explanation. You know why the duke is visiting the palace, don't you? No, actually I don't. But your grace, honestly, it was only three days ago that the duke turned around and set off once again for Bavaria. I saw him with my own eyes. Really? Hmm. And meanwhile, his majesty has disappeared into thin air. No one has the slightest idea where he's gone. No one has seen him. And another thing. No one knows where D'Artagnan has run off to. 
quite a big coincidence, Your Grace, wouldn't you say? Yes, and that's why we've got to be diligent. Guard all the roads into Paris. Bring that mutt dog Tanyan to me just as soon as possible. That mangy cur will unravel this mystery. I will trap him and squash him like a cockroach. You have my word. What are you talking about, you fool? You were instructed to bring Dog Tanyan here to me and not to squash him. Of course, Your Grace. Your wish is my command, and when I find that wretched canine, I'm gonna grab him and put him in a powerful hammerlock. Then I'll bind his hands and feet and deliver him to you. It doesn't matter to me what silly methods you employ to capture him. Just bring him to me! Why, certainly, Your Grace. Of course, Your Grace. <laughs> Please excuse me, but I thought you'd like to know the Duke of Bavaria is resting in his chamber. You'll tell the Duke I'll be in to visit him in a few moments' time. Paris in all its glory will soon be riding through the gates of the palace, Your Majesty. I wonder if anyone's gonna recognize you. I certainly hope not, Dog Tanyan. We don't want to give away the secret yet. Do you know who that is on our trail, Dog Tanyan? Yes, I sure do. They're Cardinal Richelieu's guards. Gee, I sure don't like the looks of this. Ho! In the name of King Louis, you shall surrender and follow me. We do not intend to surrender. On guard, sir. Please don't disclose your true identity just yet, sir, because I think I can take care of them. All right, now, you scoundrels. On guard! Whatever you say, D'Artagnan! Here's a little present for you, men. I hope you'll enjoy it. Clumsy friend. Uh, I almost broke my neck because of you, but this time I shall teach you a lesson. <laughs> oh, so it's you again. Well, uh, what do you plan to do to me this time? Uh, you know, I'm sorry, sir. Well, I need a good trouncing. And now, sir, if you'll give this back, sir, I'll gladly take care of everything for you. Uh, please, sir, I can handle it. <laughs> well, what do you know? I heard a walk into your sleep, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> Guess he needs a little nap. <laughs> <laughs> As always, it's one for all and, and all, all for one. one. You bet. Surround the men. Don't let the Mexica hounds get away. Now 
for the last time, you hounds, put down your weapons and give yourselves up. We have orders from his eminence to bring you in, so come quietly. Never, Whittemer. Well, your majesty, what should our next course of action be? Do we fight? No. At this point, I believe it would be best if we gave up, because any further risk would be foolish. All right, Whittemer. This time you win, we give up. <laughs> That wasn't so difficult now, was it? I take you all prisoner in the name of King Louis of France. Now come quietly. Do you believe this, fool? Ha! The king's right in front of him. Whittemer's such a dimwit. How's he even dress himself? Hmm. Your Grace, Whittemer's returned and he's brought prisoners with him. Very well, he may enter. Let him in. <laughs> Up, two, three, four. Come on, you guys, give me a break. I'm walking just as fast as I can. Your Grace. I have carried your instructions out to the letter. Oh, sure, they put up quite a fight. There was a tremendous battle, but when push came to shove, my mighty sword prevailed. I was the victor. Hmm. Well done, Widomer. You should be quite proud of yourself. Hmm. How very unfortunate we must meet this way. Yet I'm sure you are willing to assist us. There's this ongoing problem. King Louis, he's disappeared. He vanished into thin air. It was five days ago. Now, do you know where he's gone? Hmm. Out with it! And D'Artagnan, it's essential that your answer be a convincing one. Otherwise, one could suspect a bit of foul play. You might stand trial for the crime of kidnapping. Stop it. I am not going to stand by and watch you threaten him. <coughs> Richelieu, do you recognize me? Your Majesty! Ah! It's, 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 it's the king! It's the king! Your, your, ma ma Majesty, can you ever forgive me? <laughs> your Majesty, imagine my embarrassment, uh, surprise, uh, I mean, it's so nice to see you again, isn't that right, Widemar? Your magnificence. Uh, my dear Majesty, there must be some misunderstanding. Yes, I would call it a misunderstanding. A very serious one. You've taken prisoner the very Muscahounds <laughs> who have repeatedly risked their lives not only for my safety, but for the future good of their country. Yes, they're right, but your majesty, why are you wearing a Muscahound uniform? I don't understand. Well, that's none of your business, my dear Cardinal Richelieu, but I do have my reasons. Now, if you'll excuse me... Oh, I, uh, yes, of course, your majesty. Uh, I understand. Hey, Wedemer! <laughs> Don't call us, we'll call you. Oh, and Cardinal, you better lie down. You don't look so good. But, uh, <laughs> but if, you, if you just let me explain. Nine, eight, three, four, uh, uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Insufferable! Insufferable! Do you hear me, Widomer? 
with a man! <laughs> what is it, your eminence? Get out of my sight! I'm fed up! Do you hear me? Out, out, out! You're demoted, Widomer! Get out! Certainly, Your Eminence. <laughs> Consider me gone. You have only to say the word, which of course you have. Maybe he gets fleas in his underwear. <laughs> Get out of here! Don't you know it's bad manners to mock a wet bulldog? What's the matter with you, dimwit? Wake up and go and fetch my hat. It'll be back in your paws in no time. It won't get away, sir, not as long as I'm around. Huh? Uh. Oh, I'm much too handsome to be served up a shish kebab. I'm getting out of here. See ya. River. River. Bring me my hat, I say! <laughs> and you thought you were going to outrun me. Well, my aim's too good for that, isn't it? <laughs> it was nipping tucked there for a while, and it almost got away from me. Mm. My hat! It's ruined! You ruined it! Uh, sorry, Captain. Uh, do you think you can possibly forgive me, sir? Not likely, fathead. Mm. If I wring your neck, it'll undoubtedly make me feel good, but I'd probably regret it later. Mm. I should consider myself fortunate. Whittemere is not exactly noted for a wonderful disposition. <laughs> While Whittemer was nursing the wounds to both his pride and his wardrobe, the palace was in the midst of a glorious celebration. Royalty and commoners alike had gathered together to commemorate the unprecedented peace treaty signed that day between France and Bavaria. Every member of the kitchen staff had worked overtime to provide an abundance of the choicest appetizers and entrees, and the finest wines were brought up from the royal cellar and served to the appreciative ah. guests. I get dibs on a drumstick. Okay. I'm glad your adventure's over. It's good to have you home. I was worried about you. Huh. Wayne, sir. Please. Ah. Your lips are like wine. They taste just as sweet. <laughs> Wine's not bad, but when you're really hungry, there's nothing like a good piece of cheese. Ha! Yum, yum. A symphony of nourishment. Scrumptious. Limburger's my favorite. <laughs> Not bad for an appetizer. Now you can bring me the. <laughs> yeah, good to the last drop. Yeah, yum. <laughs> Everyone. I propose a toast. My friends, 
I would very much like to pay homage to my esteemed guest, the Duke of Bavaria, and recognize the brand new peace agreement between our peoples. Yes, indeed, it pleases me no end to proclaim that France and Bavaria will remain allies from this day forward, now and forever. Long live France! France. France. And long live Bavaria! Bavaria. Drink up! Long live France! And to the king, King Louis the Thirteenth. Long shall he live! Long live King Louis! And long live the Duke! Drink up, folks! It's a saucy, presumptuous little vintage made from real grapes! Careful, Piffle Cow. Take it slow and easy. You know how this stuff goes to your head. Well, first of all, I would be remiss if I neglected to recognize His Majesty's generous hospitality. I will cherish the bond of friendship between us for many years to come. What's more, I wish to recognize the undeniable contribution made by the Muskahounds. Their infinite courage and heroism made this peace treaty possible. On behalf of the people of Bavaria, let's raise our glasses high as I dedicate this glorious day to them. Hear, hear! hear. <laughs> A toast to the Duke and also His Excellency. And, and here's, here's to you, D'Artagnan. We toast you, you D'Artagnan. To the treaty, a glorious occasion. Yes, on this day, the countries of France and Bavaria began their alliance, a friendship based on honor and mutual respect. And it would not have been possible without D'Artagnan and the three Muskahounds. In our next exciting adventure, the Muskahounds are thrown into yet another dilemma. The conniving Blancbeck succeeds in persuading a group of noblemen to impose an unfair tax increase upon the citizens of France. He then blames his brother, King Louis, for the unwarranted new policy. As you might imagine, His Majesty's popularity among his subjects is immediately put into jeopardy. Yet Blancbeck has little opportunity to enjoy his victory because a roving band of outlaws, led by Pettigreen Hood, keeps stealing the taxes and returning them to the people. Will the Muska Hounds uncover Blancbeck's scheme, absolve the king, and help him regain the respect of his people? Join us next time! <laughs>